If you think about it, college is all about gaining experiences, information, and knowledge. So really, you're here to train your brain. Our brains thrive on complexity. If you've ever been bored in a lecture, well, if you've ever been bored in a meeting, if you've ever been bored watching TV or even talking to your friends, well, it's because the information being presented was just too simple. Our brains thrive on making patterns between complex ideas. I'd like to point out that your neural network is really optimized for connecting information. And it's those connections that form the basic knowledge that is your existence. So let's think, for example, about what we see in a biology class looking through a microscope. So when we're looking just with the naked eye at this plant, Elodea, this is an aquatic plant that you'll actually see in our labs, well, you have some information about it. It's green, it's underwater, sometimes I see little bubbles forming as it photosynthesizes. Oh, we're getting complex already. And what happens if we take a small leaf and examine that? under magnification. Well, at four times magnification, maybe just with a hand lens or with a dissecting microscope, we can see already a little bit better structure in the leaf. We can see the veins. We can see how they connect to the stem. But when we start to increase magnification, we start to see some of the detail at a cellular level. And so here we are at 40 times magnification under the compound microscope with light shining through from below. And we start to see that the leaf seems to be composed of lots of little boxes. And those boxes seem to have maybe some fluid inside and also some green dots. Maybe there are other things. At 100 times, we start to see more detail. And some of the air bubbles that may be present in the sample become more visible. And then at 400 times magnification, we get our best look. We can see that it looks like mostly water inside those individual cells. And those green structures, well, we already know that plants undergo photosynthesis, that photosynthesis happens in the chloroplasts. So those must be the chloroplasts. So even as I talk us through this series of views of the same plant, we're synthesizing information and combining it in new ways with these visual images. And so your brain integrates information, and it's that integration that really results in your knowledge. If you were to take pictures through the microscope, you would get each of these as just a snapshot. But your brain knows all of these images and understands how they connect and how they connect to wider processes all at the same time. And so your brain is really awesome. It can do things that we can't do with photography, it can do things that we can't do by reading, but in fact, you hold that knowledge because of the network of information put together in your brain. So facts are cheap, information is plentiful, but knowledge is precious. That's a fortune cookie you got this summer that I saved to bring in to show to you. And I would admonish you this semester, train your brain. Remember, every experience that you have while you're in college is building the brain of your future self.